Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Owings Mills, Maryland for the NCAA Division III Men's Volleyball National Championship hosted by Stevenson University at the beautiful Owings Mills Gymnasium. We have got a doozy of a matchup for all of you today. The North Central College Cardinals CCIW champions. They got here by way of a win over Carthage and then a final four national semifinal victory over Vassar advancing the finals against their opponents. The Stevens Institute of Technology, a win over Wentworth Institute of Technology followed by a sweep of Mid-Atlantic Conference rival Messiah University on Friday night to set up an incredible matchup. And speaking of incredible, look no further than Stevens senior setter Loud Moran. Loudon has led this duck offense beautifully the last couple weeks. Two consecutive matches hitting over 400 in the quarterfinal and in the semifinal. This young man can do it all and he always puts his headers in a position to succeed. For North Central, you are looking at breakout star of the tournament, Ben Williams. At least 16 kills in all three NCAA tournament matches so far really showing what a key part he can play for this North Central Cardinal offense and a go-to hitter for All-American center Tyler Donovan. Ben Williams was huge and they'll need him again tonight if they can hope to take down this Duck squad. North Central is led by none other than Kyle X-Line, head coach of the men's volleyball program, the only head coach in North Central men's volleyball history Coach Exxon has built this Cardinal squad into a powerhouse. CCIW Coach of the Year, AVCA West Region Coach of the Year. When you watch this team compete, you will see why he is detail-oriented. He is on top of these guys, and he has them loose. And when we talk about detail-oriented, Dan Buring is the tip of that spear. The Duck head coach in his third season, leading his team to a second consecutive national semifinal and their first national title match since 2018. Buring is a Naperville, Illinois native just down the street from North Central. Said he grew up going to athletic director Jim Miller's summer camps for wrestling and also used to sneak in their weight room over the summer. Probably one of the reasons he became such a good player himself. Playing days included Cal Baptist and Ball State, if I am correct. Folks, we have an incredible matchup coming your way. Both these teams took control of their semifinal match right from the start and never let it go. We've got a great environment here. Fans from both squads, costumes, flags, animated benches. This is men's volleyball at its absolute best, and we're excited to bring it to you here from Stevenson University. One of the best venues in the country, a school with rich volleyball history, a gymnasium designed to play volleyball in. You cannot ask for a better championship environment for these young men than where they're about to compete this evening. The teams are lining up. We have our final lineup checks. The starters for your Ducks include middle blockers, Tyler Hoke and Connor Fulmer, outside hitters, Percy Bickford and Philip Bone, setter, three mentioned, Loud Moran, opposite Kobe Sherman and libero Fu Kui Ho. For the Cardinals, you've got Ben Williams and Jared Moser on the outside. Jeremy Cardenas and Mitchell Hester in the middle. Luke Schmidt on the opposite. Tyler Donovan as the setter. Libero, Parker, James Nelson. And serving sub, Michael Shevs will start us off. Jump serve, handled by Ho. Moran goes out to Bickford. Bickford rises off the block. Donovan with the dig. Shevs with the set to Schmidt. Schmidt with the roll shot, picked up by Moran. Ho sets out a system. Back row to Sherman. Sherman was... Just over on that, that's an error for Kobe Sherman, and North Central takes a 1-0 lead, and they'll take that because you will not see a lot of Kobe Sherman errors tonight. He is one of the go-to attackers for this Duck squad, and it looks like the tip of his toe just caught that attack line there for a back row violation. Shevs enters, bone handles, Moran backside to Sherman. Feet are better on that one. Tools the block of Williams and Cardenas. And Kobe Sherman seeing a lot of action early. We're seeing the Ducks dive in the pond on the sideline. They do that after every first point. We take another look. Sherman going high off the hands. It's a good block set up. Just got to turn that hand in for Ben Williams. As Loud Moran now heads back to serve. This match knotted up at one. The senior setter was a second team All-American. 
1.09 ace to air ratio. He's a precision server, folks. Moser handles with his hands. Backside to Schmidt. Schmidt buries it, and he is fired up after that one. Luke Schmidt got a lot of early offense against the Brewers as well. Try to spread those pins out. Beautiful back set from Donovan there. And Schmidt coming on late in the season. Trained as a setter. The Indiana native has transitioned to playing opposite here late in the season. And now we've got serving sub Ben Plaskota in the match. Float serve. Bickford handles high. Moran backside to Bickford. He goes high. Dug by Moser. Chased down by Nelson. Donovan. Oh, Williams sends it over. Bowen handles the free ball. Outside to Sherman. Sherman with the big bounce. Kobe Sherman. Three early attempts, two early kills for the Ducks. Kobe Sherman loves running those inside routes. We see that he comes out a little bit inside. Donovan goes just past him the block. Need to keep disciplined eye work when you're matching up with Sherman because he runs so much route variety. Knotted up at two. Bickford at the line. Another second team All-American for the Ducks. He enters, Moser's handles. Out to Williams. Williams high off the block. Bickford digs. Moran out to Lancia. Lancia off the top of the block, dug by Pascota. Net call on Jeremy Cardenas and the Cardinals, so that is a kill for Lancia. Lancia and Philip Bones split the duties for this Duck squad. Lancia plays the front row, better attacker, better blocker, and an absolute energy aficionado. He brings it on every point. Bone, more ball control, a fierce competitor. Those two really fill their roles well for this Duck squad. Bickford floats in, handled by Williams. Cardenas on the slide. Moran digs, chased by Ho, up to the net. Jumbo tip from Lancia, dug by Moser. Donovan back to Cardenas, Oh, And it looks like Tyler Donovan airmailed that set a little bit. Looks like Cardenas says, my bad. And the Stevens bench is loving that one. Who, me, me, you? Just a little bit of a misconnection there. Bickford back at the line. The Ducks have put three in a row. They did the same thing to Messiah. They got going. The North Central bench getting into it, hitting some jumping jacks. These guys are a fit bunch. I can tell you that for sure. Pascota handles with his hands. Out to Williams. Block sealed. Kept alive. Donovan scoops it out of the net. Cardenas power tip. Dug by Moran. Ho out to Sherman. Sherman high off the block. Tooled out of bounds. And Kobe Sherman is off to a hot start. Once again, we saw in the semifinal against Messiah. He is so physical. This is a perfectly formed double block, absolutely sealed, but Sherman just goes so high and so hard off the hands. It's such a disciplined swing. That's his third kill of the night already on four attempts. Sherman is off to as bad as well of a start as you want to have. Moser handles again. Cardenas! Rejected by Tyler Hope. The first year from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. Up early, and he absolutely took this one out of Cardenas' hands. What a play by the first year. And folks, that's an early timeout for North Central. They trail two to six. We'll take a quick break from the action here and be back to you in just a moment. The Ducks doing what they are known to do, testing teams, daring them to score in transition, and blitzing them with energy. They might be the best transition team in the country, but after seeing this North Central squad in person yesterday, I know they've got the offensive firepower to battle back. Nelson handles the serve. Out to Williams, one-on-one. -on -one. Williams over the block and down the line. Ben Williams on the board for the first time as we see him get a great ball here from Tyler Donovan. Elevate, go over the top of Kobe Sherman. And folks, that is not easy. We talked about it a little bit in the pregame. Ben Williams has been the breakout star for the Cardinals this tournament. Over 16 kills in all three tournament matches so far. He has been a key element to the postseason for Coach Exline's squad. Poke reaches high. And it looks like we've got an under call. 
on Tyler Hoke after we had a little bit of a mix up at the net. So that will be Hoke's first error of the night. And uh, North Central puts two in a row together. They've got that lead cut in half. They now travel 4-6. We're gonna take a second look here. Hoke just a little bit of a broad jump. Yeah, he did cross over. Great call by down official Young Park. One of the best in the biz for a reason. Just got that call down. Williams, heavy topspin goes long and past the end line for a side out. And for his first appearance of the night, we have graduate student, senior setter Colin Nick. He comes in as a serving sub for the Ducks. And folks, let me tell you, he took this Duck squad on a number of runs against Messiah on Friday night. He's got a tough float serve, plays great defense, but also brings a really calm, poised energy to the floor, really inspiring his teammates to just keep playing the ball they do. Moser handles with his hands. Cardenas gets it. And off of Nick's platform. And we've got a ball touch for some of the Stevenson University volleyball team members. I think that was uh, Aiden O'Brien who got the ball touch there. Aiden in the middle for the men's squad. Does a really nice job on the block for head coach Aldis Burson's squad. The side out for North Central sends Jeremy Cardenas back to serve. Score at 5-7. to seven. Cardenas on to Lancia, handled well. Fulner reaches high, and folks, if you watch Friday night, Connor Fulner ended that match with about three or four power dumps to zone one, and he picks back up right where he left off. Him and Loud Moran have such a strong connection. He keeps great spacing, able to take that down to the floor for a free point because of that consistent spacing and just how well he elevates. Sherman, heavy topspin, finds Williams. Donovan, 11 off, goes out to Moser. Moser, sharp cross, dug out by Ho. Set from Sherman, freed over by Lancia, dug by Nelson. Donovan back out to Moser. High touch off the block, not enough. And Jared Moser on the board for the first time tonight. We started the pre-match talking about Ben Williams, but coming into this tournament, you probably would have heard more about Jared Moser. First team All-American outside, AVCA West Region Player of the Year, has been a fulcrum of this Cardinal offense set in career single season records for kills and aces the last two seasons. Guy's an impressive athlete and he loves that hard cross shot. Bickford handles serve well. Moran, the throw is blocked by Moser. Wow, what a help block from Jared Moser combining with Mitchell Hester on that one. Great job, Hester was leaving a little bit early. Moser sees it well, dives in late. Fulner couldn't quite see it, and that's a, uh, a block for the senior from Wheeling, Illinois. Donovan's jump serve misses just wide, and that stretches the Stevens lead back to two, 9-7. Nathan Lancia headed back to serve. Mentioned it earlier, Lancia is the spark plug for this Stevens duck squad. He brings energy on the court, off the court, at practice, on the bench. I'm sure he brings it when they're eating lunch at Panera Bread. He's just always about the energy. Moser receives the back set from Donovan. Goes just a bit deep. It looked like Jared Moser was a little early in his approach. The pass brings Donovan across the floor. Moser has to be a little bit more patient. Donovan working his best to find that tempo but always more variability when the distance between the setter and the attacker increases. And Moser just needs to stay a little bit more patient, not work tight so early on. Great pass from Moser. Donovan gives it back. High off the block. Sherman with one hand. Stabbed back by Williams. Nelson out of system set. Goes tight and over. Bickford can't handle it. Set over by Fulner. Kept alive on the dive by Donovan. Free ball from Williams. Ho's going to handle it. Moran out to Bickford. Bickford into the block. And Moser can't quite keep it alive. And some sloppy play, but really great effort from both sides, keeping that ball alive throughout the entire duration of the rally. We see Moran, great set, and it looks like Stevens starting to run some inside routes against this Cardinal block. I think they've identified that that right side blocker is trying to leave to get out to the pin early. And Lad Moran's just leaving it inside for his attackers intelligently. Schmidt with the great swing. Turns high off the block. Tool and early offense from Luke Schmidt is always a good sign. His second kill of the night. First North Central player to get his second kill. And if they can keep him a threat and force the Stevens block to pay some attention to him, that'll be a really big key opening up the middle attack and some of the more prolific attackers like Williams and Moser. Ho handles the Moser jump serve. 
Moran pushes it all the way out. Bigford high off the block. Doesn't find anyone, so a couple errors trade back and forth, and it's back down to two. Donovan happy about that one, and folks, Jared Moser packs a punch from the service line. This guy, some people have fast arms, some people have heavy arms. Moser has a fast, heavy arm. It comes through the zone like a whip, and then it comes off his hand like a cannonball. That one just a bit too hard, though. Trails over the line. Steven stretches, stretches their lead back up to three. North Central going to look to side out on first ball themselves. Offenses are a little bit disjointed right now. North Central hitting 118. Stevens hitting 143. Both teams trying to find their rhythm and get into the match. Florida man, Connor Fulner, float serve. Finds the middle of the net. They trade service errors. And the lead's back down to two. Feels like there's a little bit of nervous energy in the gym right now. Both squads traveled really well. We've got a lot of North Central fans. We've got a lot of Stevens fans. Their infamous student section featuring the hot dog man and everything. So just working out those nerves. Michael Shev's back at the line. Top spin goes short. Ho handles it well. Bick to bone. Dug out by Donovan. Moser bump set. Travels over the net. Ho picks it up. Moran out to Bickford. Sharp cross from Percy Bickford. What an angle by Bickford on that swing. If you have not watched Percy Bickford this year, swings like this might come in a surprise. He's got a little bit of an unassuming look. Not the most chiseled guy you see out there, but so technical, so athletic, and he just competes with such poise. He almost looks relaxed out on the floor. Folks, that shot is not as easy as it looks. Moran enters, leading by three. Moser with the pass. Donovan goes high. Luke Schmidt puts it away. Third kill for Luke Schmidt, the junior from Greenwood, Indiana. What a set, though, from Tyler Donovan. Arguably the largest setter in the country. He stands at six foot seven. He's got long arms. He's got a great athlete. He is a great athlete. He gives his passers such room for air. Goes up, brings that one backside. Just a great ball. Blascota goes topspin this time on the hoe. Bickford up over the top of the block. Great touch from Moser, but not enough. And now we have Percy Bickford getting involved. And this is one of the things that makes the Stevens offense so difficult to stop. We see Bickford's athleticism on display there. We saw Kobe Sherman early on. One of those two guys is almost always in the front row. They cover five of the six rotations. Both threats out of the back row. Hard for the North Central block to dedicate to one of the two pins when both are such efficient terminators for this Duck squad. Bickford float on to Williams. Donovan back out to him, high off the block. Bickford digs. Moran back to Sherman. Sherman down the line for a kill. Nelson unable to handle. Kobe Sherman, his third kill of the evening now. And we talk about the Ducks transition play all the time and we see it in action there. Moran about 16 feet off delivers the ball right where Sherman needs it Sherman throws some great arm dynamism thumb down attacks it down the line and just too much for Parker James Nelson of North Central to handle Nelson with a great pass backslide to Cardenas Ho digs it over with one arm in transition Donovan to Moser great touch from Hoke chased down by Ho Moran over his shoulder Sherman Sherman off speed off the block dug out by Nelson Donovan out to Williams, into the top of the tape. No touch on that one. Stevens with another transition point, but great volleyball from both sides there as Coach Kyle Exline asked for his second and final timeout of this set as the Ducks have their largest lead of the evening, stretching this one to five, 16-11 as we go into the box score here. Stevens. Their offense has been of note all year, and today they are starting to find their spot. It's an excellent engineering school out in Hoboken, New Jersey. Beautiful view of Manhattan. Large enrollment. They specialize as an engineering institution. They've been one of the top teams in the country all year long. Spent a long portion of the season at number one in the ABCA coaches poll. 33-3 and three with one of those losses coming into a Division I opponent. Defeated conference rival Messiah to make it here to the final. Notable alumni, we got Jay Weinberg, drummer for Slipknot, Eugene McDermott, founder of the TI-84 calculator. I remember using that in calculus. I wasn't very good at it, but I tried my hardest. 
and Frederick Rines, Nobel Prize winner in physics. If I had to guess about another Nobel Prize winner on the squad, I would go with Elite 90 winner Brandon Rogers. The sophomore from Syracuse posted a 4.0 in mechanical engineering. That is no easy feat, folks. Stevens is one of the best engineering schools in the country, but they know how to have fun, too. We've got the ducky blanket. We've got the Elmo onesie. We've got a hospital gown with some blue hair. They are fired up. Coach Beering sending his squad out to the floor, telling them to close this one out. Coach Exline, maybe some tactical adjustments, maybe trying to get his guys settled in. Hitting under 100 right now. One of the country's most efficient offenses led by first-team All-American center Tyler Donovan. They'll look to get a little bit more efficient, a little bit more production out of that offense. Only six kills so far in the match for those guys. Williams with the pass. Donovan 10 off out to Williams. He goes off the block. Sherman and Hoke in the net. So that'll be a kill for Williams. And great timeout from Coach Exxon getting his guys settled down. And I love the aggressiveness of that swing from Ben Williams. Donovan does a great job pushing out of the pin. The Stevens block had it scouted, seeing him score down the line against Vassar last night. They seal, he goes thumb down, hard cross. Can't block everything with only two guys up, so that ends up as another kill for Williams. He heads back to the service line. Ho with an excellent pass, Moran off eight. Goes back to Sherman, Sherman splits the block for another kill, and Kobe Sherman is fired up about that one along with Loud Moran. Those two have been connecting four kills all year long. And it is such a difficult set, folks. Sherman runs that narrow inside route on the backside. And Moran locates it. Height, tempo, location, all coming together for Sherman to take those swings. Great work there. Colin Nick re-enters the match for Stevens. He goes straight ahead. Great pass from Nelson. Cardenas high off the block, dug by Bickford. Moran steps in. Lancey into the block, covered by Nick. Bickford with the out-of-system set. High off the block again from Lancey, and Nelson ranges over. Donovan to Williams, into the block. Lancey grabs it, and he is letting everyone know he had a big piece of that one. Lancey and Fulner combining on the pick there. Great work from the Ducks. Such a disciplined blocking squad. They cover space so well. They move so well. So difficult to attack against, and it doesn't always lead to terminal blocks. They get a number of positive block touches that create opportunities for their defenders. They funnel the attackers to where they want to see them. And we have a substitution. Chris Varseveld entering the match. He is a senior from San Jose, California. We saw a little bit of Chris in action last night. Looked like Connor Fulner might have tweaked an ankle a little bit. Some, some contested net play there. But Varseveld has had a lot of action with his duck squad this year. And I don't expect much of, much of a drop up from his play. Tyler Donovan says, don't worry, guys. I can do it myself. Such an aggressive attacker at six foot seven. I was giving him a little bit of flack last night. He was going for some of those finesse dumps. I said, Tyler, you're six foot seven. You got long arms. You got to attack aggressively. Maybe he listened to the broadcast, but great work from Tyler keeping it hidden and then throwing it down with that left paw. Cardenas back at the line. He goes on to Bickford. Moran back to Bickford on the Bick. And folks... Nominative determinism in action. Percy Bickford scoring on that quick back row attack. He is seeing a lot of early offense for this Duck squad. Leads the team now with seven attempts, tied for the lead with four kills, along with our current server, Kobe Sherman, as Stevens holds this five and six point lead pretty steady, trading side outs. Sherman on to Nelson. Donovan. This time his attack is stifled by Lancia. A second block for the senior from Ohio, the Vanguard Club alum. And he is letting his guys know not to let their foot on the table. And that is all the scout work. Coach Beering telling his squad, hey, if Donovan goes up, we've got a full commit. Great job diving that right hand in. Donovan just didn't quite see that hand drop as he went for the attack. Moser handles the jump serve well. Back Bick to Williams. Williams finds the net. And our largest lead goes from seven to eight. Coach X-Line out of timeouts. Might need to look to a substitution to try to settle this squad here, especially against this Kobe Sherman serve. One of the things that makes it so difficult, Sherman has a little bit of an inconsistent toss, so he's always contacting it from a different point along that end line. But his arm is so talented, he can create a massive amount of energy no matter what. Loudon Moran 
invites North Central to the weight room, forcing it through on the joust. That is some senior veteran strength, dad strength maybe even, Loudon getting his right hand on him, just forcing it through. He is a stout student athlete, tough to force the ball back on him. Stevens now leads by nine. Plaskota, great pass. Hester goes high. And we've got a touch from the Stevens block. Young Park with the great overrule there. And nice job from Donovan, realizing that the block is committing to him when he goes up. That means his outside, or his middle blocker has a one-on-one -on -one opportunity against their middle. What I would be telling Mitch Hester is if I'm Tyler Donovan, hey, the block is committing with me. You've got to take that ball to the power side on the swing. Lad Moran having a conversation with up official Denny Cespedes about the call. Dan Beering having a conversation with down official Young Park about the call. But there's a, I'll tell you what, folks. I had the touch from up here, so I'm not sure what Coach Beering's worked up about. Doesn't want to give up any ground. We might even see him take a timeout if the Ducks don't grab this point. Donovan, jump serve, off speed, picked up well by Bickford. Lancia, hard cross goes wide. Two straight for the Cardinals on that one. Lancia just going a little bit sharp on that swing. Might have been a miscommunication. Moran left that a little bit inside as they've been doing for the pins. Lancia went pretty wide. If you're brought that far in, easier to find the deep angle rather than the sharp one. They might have to talk to him on that. Donovan, jump serve, ho, great pass. Moran to Varsaveld. Varsaveld forces it through the double block. And that's the first kill for the night for the senior middle. I said you can't expect a big drop off with Fulner leaving, and we see why. Varsavel loads that arm up, sees Schmidt off the net, turns that ball to zone one, help block can't get there. Stevens now two points away from closing out this first set. Lancia, float to Moser. Donovan out to Schmidt. Schmidt turns it down the line just a bit wide, and that will give the Ducks set point. The Ducks block always has the pin scouted. No one who's comfortable going down the line, and the floss is back. The floss is back for that Duck squad. These guys play with a ton of energy. They support each other no matter what. Moser, tight pass. Hester into the block, covered by Schmidt. Donovan gets there, backside to Moser, little low. Bickford pulls the hands down as Moser looks for the tool, and that is set one to the Ducks in dominating fashion. Taking it 25-15. The Duck fan faithful are fired up. The Duck Pond is excited about it. And this group is ready to continue their path to a national title. North Central took set one against Vassar. Haven't been behind like this since their NCA quarter or first round matchup against Benedictine. So we'll see how the Cardinals respond. We're going to take a short break from the action here. And we'll be back to you with more volleyball in just a bit. Welcome back to the NCAA Division III Men's Volleyball National Championship hosted here by Stevens University in Owings Mills, Maryland. We had a dominating set one from the Stevens Ducks hitting a blistering 308, taking the first set over the North Central College Cardinals 25 to 15. And joining me in the booth, Stevenson University volleyball legend, NCAA Division III all-time ace leader, former teammate and former assistant coach, Landon Shorts. Landon, welcome to the broadcast. Hey, thanks, Rob. Thanks for having me. This is such an amazing atmosphere out here. The crowd is incredible, and it's super loud. The North Central fans have already gotten one national championship here in Maryland this year, winning the Stag Bowl in Division Three men's football, looking for their second. But Landon, not a great offensive start for North Central, especially the outsides. Ben Williams, been the star of the tournament for the Cardinals so far, hitting negative 111. Jared Moser, their first team All-American outside at negative 167. How do you try to get your offense going when you had a rough start like that as a star outside? Man, I, I think it all stems from the confidence in the players. I know this is the biggest game that they've played in their career. And, you know, just establishing, you know, that confidence within themselves, keep hitting high hands and keep just – Keep swinging. You never want to tip the ball. Yeah, that North Central block, or North Central attack used the Vassar block so well yesterday, and I think we're seeing them just a little bit scared of the Stevens block so far. Yeah, it's it's very big. Carver Wyrick 
from Stevens, the junior outside from San Marino, California. Sends that float serve a little bit deep as we've got Connor Fulner back in the match as well. Good to see uh, Connor Fulner healthy. You never want to get hurt in the NCAA tournament, Landon. Uh, yeah, no. You want to keep all your pinkies in place, right? Oh, yeah. I yeah. remember that. You don't ever want to send them sideways. <laughs> so North Central, first lead of the evening. They got Ben Pliskota back to serve. Float serve on the bone. Moran out to Bickford. Percy Bickford down the line. Landon, Percy Bickford is in rhythm right now. Yeah, what an incredible shot right down the line. That's always the money shot for the outside. And we had a chance to coach against Percy during your second year at Misericordia. And, man, his growth as a player is clear to see. Absolutely. I mean, the, the caliber of player he is and what he's grown to is incredible. Such a high volleyball IQ. Sees the block so well. He leads the Ducks with five kills tonight. Moran, jump serve on to Nelson. Williams high off the block, covered by Moser. Donovan back out to Gartinas, dug by Moran. Ho, bump set in transition, over and out of bounds. And Landon, we've seen Jeremy Cardenas run the slide a couple times tonight. Your high school program, Central York, known as slide aficionados. Talk to me about how that opens up the dynamic of your offense. Yeah, it, it spreads out the blockers on the other side. So when you run that slide like to the pin, right, the blocker is supposed to be following them and it creates big seams in the, in the block. Especially so important for this North Central squad. They use a defensive specialist, so no D-ball option from their right side. So Cardenas has an option on the back side, really big. Ho sends a free ball after a bit of a miscommunication. Donovan goes to the big, they wow. have the block spread, but it didn't matter, Landon. Unbelievable, he is so huge up there. Hard to believe he's just a first year. Yeah, it's actually incredible. I think he's put on 15 or 20 pounds of muscle already. We take another look at it. So much discipline, passes the slide off. We see him communicate to Sherman. Talk to me about having a block that can communicate at that level. Yeah, I mean, you know, when you have a middle as dynamic as him, you know, just communicating, making sure you know where you are at all times, I, you know, he, it's just a great block. Hoke is going to be a problem for Division Three volleyball opponents for the next three years as well. Moran digs Moser down the line. Ho bumps that to Sherman. Sherman high up the block. And if there is one word to describe Kobe Sherman, it's physical. Absolutely. Uh, that, that swing, super high, super hard, perfect shot right out of bounds. And it's such a narrow approach angle. Normally you talk to your hitters about getting off the court. I'm not sure Kobe knows you can transition out of bounds. <laughs> Bickford giving Stevens a lead with his last serve. Heads back to the line again. Colin Nick giving him some support in the background. On to Nelson. Donovan out to Moser. Moser sharp cross, dug over by Ho. Cardenas picks it up. Backside set to the outside. Moser chops high, picked up by Bickford. Moran to Lancia, high off the block. Nelson picks it up. Donovan collects. Bick pushed over to Moran. Out of system set from Ho again. Sherman again into the cross. And listen, I know I'm not coaching in the national title game, but I try to get a double block up on Kobe Sherman when I can. Yes, every single time you should have a double block on that guy. He's he's just ripping the ball. We've got a substitution here. Uh, ben Pliskota will exit, and we're into the match for North Central. We've got Will Paget listed at center. It looks like he'll be uh, coming in, and it looks like a 6-2 switch because hmm. we also have opposite Jake Miller coming in. Jake, a senior from Winnetka, California. Um, Jake was an all-region player last year, got beat out recently, but Coach Exxon has been nothing but complimentary about how he still pushed his team, and now he's getting an opportunity to, to play a big role in the national championship match. Paget out to Moser. Moser! Hard cross this time in front of Ho. A and Landon, talk to me a little bit about the strategy of switching to a 6-2 if you're Coach Kyle Exxon there. Yeah, I think it's just a, a fresh look for the team. Obviously, they struggled in the first set. Uh, you know, getting some new rhythm, getting some new faces on the court, you know, might help the dynamic of the team. Yeah, both of these squads have so much depth. We've already seen it with Stevens. We're seeing it now with North Central. They know the next guys coming in can make plays just as great as the first ones are out there. Off the net, back to Sherman. Sherman dug out by Cardenas, chased down by Padgett. Oh, wow. Sent over. Lancia keeps alive. Back to Sherman. Oh, and he goes again. You can't give Kobe Sherman two chances to score. Nope, nope, you can't. He does such a good job of attacking that outside hand. The narrow run, they leave him inside. Thumb down off the block. We've got Colin Nick returning. Um, 
And we've got a short stoppage in play here. It looks like there was something going on in the stands. Yeah, Rob, I was always told as an outside or opposite attacker that using the block, you know, the block is your best friend. Not a deterrent, just another opportunity to score. Williams with the pass, backside to Miller. Miller off the block and yep. out of bounds for Lancia. Great swing, Jake Miller off to a half start and the North Central fans are loving the contributions from the senior there. Great back set from Paget and Lancia just caught reaching outside. If you're the outside blocker for Stevens, you've got to get your feet there first and reach back in, not leave your feet short and reach out. Just weakens the block. Keep reaching into that cross court. Jump into that cross right at the last second. Tim Hess always told me there's only two ways to swing, angle and harder angle. Shout out Tim Hess. Shout out to Tim Hess, he's right. Some talk with the book after a few substitutions. Colin Nick exiting. Tyler Hoke will come back on and then exit for the libero quickly. We get a look at NCA liaison to championships for men's volleyball. Jonathan Youngblood in the tan suit and NCA Division Three men's volleyball committee member Mike Zapolsky, director of athletics at Augustana College in Illinois. Two of my compadres here on the championship. Tyler Donovan back at the line. Cardinals trailing by one. Donovan tosses down the court. Bickford handled. Folder high elevates and takes that deep in the zone five. Connor Folder. What See, a swing. I, I know earlier in the first set, uh, he got subbed out because of his ankle. Looks like his ankle's doing all right. It looked all right. Yeah, you're jumping 42 inches in the air, something you know about. You must be feeling okay. <laughs> Fulner on the board. That was his first, second kill of the evening. I apologize. Kobe Sherman at the line. Sherman on to Moser. Donovan backside to Moser. Moser trying to go a little bit too sharp down that line. And that's a better job of Lancia there. He gets his feet, reaches within his shoulder, doesn't give Moser an opportunity to use the block by reaching outside his body. Yeah, if, if only Moser could have just got that opposite or the outside to touch that ball. He's struggled a little bit here in rotation one. They've gone back to him a few times. I wouldn't be shocked to see him try to get a Mitch Hester here in the middle and see if they can get some offense there. Out to Schmidt. We've got a touch off the block of Loudon Moran and Luke Schmidt stepping up for this Cardinal offense here. The outside struggling. Schmidt saying, hey, I can take over a big role. And we've seen that with both opposites, even when Jake Miller was in for a bit. Moser takes his time. Big toss. Absolute rocket. Dimed by Bickford. Fulner on the tip. Covered, Bickford out of system. Lancia chops to the line. No, oh, we do have a touch call. Denny Cespedes overrules on the touch. And folks, I don't know if you can argue with a Denny Cespedes call. FIVB official up on the stand for us tonight. Yeah, that was an incredible serve by Bozer as well. You know, just making sure that ball's in and, you know, getting that momentum on his side was crucial. He just, his toss is so consistent for as high and aggressive as he is. It's always in the same spot. Yep. Got to score points when he's back there. North Central uh, bench, I think, giving a little bit of a ball don't lie to Denny there. <laughs> Miss serve is a free side out for the Cardinals, and uh, serving for the first time tonight is Mitchell Hester, and with that 6-2, can't afford to use serving subs anymore, so we'll see what he's got from the line. A little bit of a... Wow! <laughs> let the big man eat! you got to let him serve after an ace like that. <laughs> Let's go. Our only Texas native in the tournament, Mitchell Hester. He'd been hitting a float serve when I've been watching him in practice, but he put a little topspin on that one. Bickford handles that one better. Nobody home for Connor Fulner. Yikes. Frogjumpvolleyball.com. You better get that clip up and ready because what a glory ball from Moran to Fulner there. Man. What's it feel like when you got no block up like that, Landon? It's incredible. Bouncing the ball, 10-foot line, sending it to the ceiling. It's too bad you never had a setter who could get you in a position yeah, like that. Yeah, you were the worst. <laughs> Fulner with the float serve. Williams fights it off. Donovan forced to the bump set. Over top of the block, dug out by Bone. Sherman, dug out by Donovan, back over. Sherman calls off Bone. Moran out to Bickford, and Bickford off the block. Percy Bickford 
hotter than a California summer out there right now. To use that block, like I said, as those outsides, the block is your best friend. I was at the Hoboken Regional last week, and we saw a number of plays just like that from Percy Bickford. Analyzes, sees the block so well, always just making the play that's in front of him the best one possible, the optimal play. Donovan, 15 off, back to Schmidt. Schmidt finds a seam in the block. Great set from Tyler Donovan there. Kid is a first team All-American for a reason. Landon, when you've got a setter the level of Tyler Donovan as we take another look at that set, how important is it to be ready as a hitter at all times? It's always ready. Or you need to be ready at all times. Even if the ball is, you know, 10 feet, 11 feet off the net, always be ready, especially in the middle. And such an advantage when Donovan can locate it so well in system and with tempo like that. Bone with the pass. Bickford again over the block, dug out by Moser. Net call. Looks like that one was Jake Miller. Uh, based on his reaction. Some people try to look to the official to see who's in that. I always look at the players because normally the middle says, hey, it wasn't me. And the pin normally has to go over and go, hey, man, sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> I wish I had a middle who could close the block. Shout out to Kyle Potigan and Nate Ellis. You guys were the best. Loudon Moran at the line. Stevens leading by three. Moran cuts his jump serve. Moser handles. Paget squeezes Cardenas. Dug out. Tight. And Jeremy Cardenas buries the overpass. First time I said his name in a bit, and North Central probably, you know, service team struggling a little bit, but they've got to look to get the second team All-American middle a little bit more involved. Yep, it looks like the 6-2 is doing pretty well for them right now. It's, they got to keep the momentum on their side if they want to take this set. Yeah, and I like the choice from Paget there, trying to get the middles involved. And an ace from Ben Williams finds the seam between Ho and Bone, and... A little bit of a miscommunication between those two. What a great high toss, high rip, right into that seam. He's got a great arm, super lively. He tracks the ball really well. And I love how aggressive this North Central team is on their tosses. You see him go high. They really lead themselves, launching into the court. And another one. Back-to-back -back aces. Make a wish, Landon. We got 11-11 on the scoreboard, all ones. I don't have one, Rob. That's okay. You're not supposed to tell people anyway because then it won't come true. So you can take your time before the serve and think of something. Williams looking to go for the turkey. He tosses. He goes hard. Ho, oh, overpass. Moser dug out by Bone. Out of system set across the net. Cardenas picks it up. Paget backside to Williams. Or backside. Williams. Man. Oh, sorry, not Williams. That one was Jake Miller. So many attackers for this Cardinal squad, I can't even keep track of them all. Way too many of them, and that just shows the depth on their squad. Anyone who comes in can just get the job done. Not many programs have the ability to bring an all-region attacker off the bench. North Central has that, and Jake Miller, clearly an X-factor, bringing that offensive production from the backside for Coach Exline. Williams goes off speed. Bone brings Moran off 10. Sherman! <laughs> What an answer from Kobe Sherman. It is such a luxury when your opposite attacker can take so much of that uh, rotation one responsibility with proficient attacking from the left side pin. Has he always been an opposite? He started on the outside last year. They transitioned him over. Um, I haven't seen him serve receive too much in practice, but man, I think that kid could score from the parking lot if Moran sent him out there. Absolutely. Bickford floats down the line. Paget back to Miller. Miller, little too aggressive trying to find the line on that one. Stevens retakes control, 13 to 12. And uh, this Stevens block, like I said, it doesn't always lead to terminal blocks, but just so disciplined with their setup. When you know that the block isn't going to be an opportunity to score, just what does that do to your psyche as an attacker? It's, it's really hard. You know, you, you just got to be creative and, you know, Take, take chances to try to score points. Bickford on to Nelson. Paget out to Moser. Dive from Sherman. Kept alive. Hoke redirects. Dug out by Paget. Nelson goes high. Miller off speed. Picked up by Ho. Moran sweeps in. Bump set to Lancia. Lancia takes that one to the Waffle House. Doesn't quite get a hold of it the way he wants to there. Yeah, it was a little bit of a misconnection. The transition wasn't great. That's why he hit it out. Yeah, the transition play in terms of keeping balls alive has been really strong. The transition offense 
a little bit sloppy um, on both sides for that rally, but Stevens still hitting 405 on the match. North Central only at 041, but their serving's keeping them in this one. Absolutely. Bickford high pass off 10. Back to Sherman. <laughs> you can't dig it. No. You just you, you literally can't. It's such a great swing from Kobe. So deep, such a great angle into that portion of the court. You just can't dedicate a defender to taking away that nope. space. Nope. The guy in six, you know, even if he rotates to the corner, I don't think he's getting that ball. Yeah, Sherman's ninth kill hitting almost 600 while also leading the Ducks in attempts. So they know the ball is going to him, and they still can't stop him. Mm. Remember feeling like that back in the day? Uh, I do, yeah. especially with you as my setter. Especially on this court, too. Nick off the tape, picked up. Moser out of system set. Miller sends a free over, but it's returned by Fulner, covered out. Moser with a second chance in the block, covered by Nelson. Pushes Padgett back, Padgett out to Nel uh, Moser. Kept alive by Bickford. Backside to Sherman, and Sherman There's again one. answers the call. Kobe Sherman goes to double digit on that kill. And it looks like we have some differing calls there. And Landon, I know we've got the best view in the gym. We're about 30 feet up from the court. That ball was in no doubt. Oh, absolutely. I, I don't know if they were talking about maybe in an antenna. We've got six great officials here. They bring in the whole crew to talk about it. We have a chance and they get it right. Point goes to Stevens. And that will take us to a media timeout here in Owings Mills, Maryland. National championship match set to the Ducks up one set to O, leading 15 to 13. Landon, thanks for joining me on the broadcast. Thanks, Rob. I really appreciate it. Landon Shorts, Stevens University legend, head coach at Central York High School. If you're in the Pennsylvania region and have a chance to check out his high school team, make sure you do it. Thank you so much. And we'll be back in just a moment, folks. Folks, welcome back to the Division Three Men's Volleyball National Championship match here between Stevens Institute of Technology and North Central College. You can see from these shots, we have got a great environment here. Coach Dan Buring looks on to his squad, leading this match one set to none, leading this second set 15 to 13, hitting, hitting a blistering 6-11 here in set two. Right now, the Cardinals have no answer for Kobe Sherman. But that Cardinal service pressure is keeping them in the match. Colin Nick enters in. And speaking of service pressure, an ace for Colin Nick. He had the lone Stevens Duck ace last night. Picks up another one there. Driven float serve right in the seam. Williams thought Moser had it. Moser thought Williams had it. And we have a substitution now for the Cardinals. Back to the 5-1. Tyler Donovan re-enters along with Luke Schmidt trying to give them a little bit of a back row presence, bringing their All-American center back on the floor. Moser handles the serve, gets it back, sharp cross from Jared Moser. Big side out for the Cardinals, and hopefully a confidence builder for Moser. Moser has one of the best four to four hard cross shots in the country. Stevens has it scouted. We see the libero Ho sitting high on that 10 foot line. Moser turns the thumb up, takes that swing a little bit deeper. Nobody home gives him his third kill of the evening. Donovan serve into the net. Side out for the Ducks. That sends Kobe Sherman back to the line. Sherman, one of the best servers for this Steven squad along with Loud Moran. Got a really active heavy arm from back there. We'll see what he dials up. Toss leads him well. Catches the tape, great pass from Williams. Donovan goes to Hester, rejected by Fulner, covered, out of system set from Nelson. Moser tries to tool the block. Lancia sends it back in. What a play from Nathan Lancia, grabbing that one. Connor Fulner closes it well. Just such a technical move from him there. Reaching in, pressing that block back to zone six. And we have a second timeout from North Central. Biggest lead so far this set. 
The Ducks up by four. Coach Exline wants to talk things over, not let this stretch out too much. If I'm Coach Buring, I want the foot on the pedal. The block and defensive work of your squad has stifled this Cardinal offense all night long. You need to make sure that this next ball in, next ball is in and creates pressure on the squad, giving that block and defense a chance to work. Coach Exline talking some strategy with the squad, his guys talking on their own, trying to find an answer for this block. We see Parker James Nelson, the incredible libero for this Cardinal squad. Only libero from the CCIW to make first team all conference, talking about, hey, what can we do here? And as a libero, he's probably talking about what they're seeing from the duck block. You get such a great vantage point when you're in the back row, watching set quality, talking to your hitters, seeing that. Maybe they need a little bit more trust in terms of listening to calls, or maybe they're asking for a little bit more communication from Nelson. But I love the intent of this timeout, making sure they take all 75 seconds, calming themselves down, making the necessary tactical and technical adjustments to work on closing the gap that we saw earlier in this set, but the Ducks just keep on coming. And Kobe Sherman looks loose as he gets ready to enter another serve for the MAC champions. Sherman, high jump serve. Nelson's pass. Donovan with the soft block, kept alive but put away by Lancia. What a play from Tyler Donovan. Keeps his hands below the tape, makes the soft dig, can't go above the net because he's in the back row. Lancia though gets a second try, realizes he can find a better spot. And uh, nice job from Nathan there, making use of the overpass from Kobe Sherman's serve as the Ducks are closing in on set two, a five point lead for them at the moment. Sherman. This one finds Nelson. Nelson keeps it on his side. Schmidt down the line off the hand of Kobe Sherman. That is kill number six for Luke Schmidt tonight. He has been the consistent answer when North Central needed a side out. And now we see an early timeout from Coach Buring off that North Central kill. This is something we saw from him in the national semifinal as well. He did not want Messiah to grab any momentum. So any chance he had to curb that momentum with an early timeout, he took it. But back to that swing from Luke Schmidt. We saw it at the end of set one. Stevens was leaving line for Luke. An opposite swinging from the left pin in rotation one. Schmidt that time much better job of only rotating his hips instead of both his hips and arm. Sending the ball down the line and Sherman while a strong defender not a strong enough defender to keep that ball alive. Now if you're North Central, this sends Jared Moser back to serve. Moser probably the best arm on this Cardinal squad, really puts in a nice ball. But with that heavy ball, I think it's really important he focuses on locating his seam here. If you put it between the hips of these Steven serve receivers, they're just gonna put Lad Moran high and 11 or 12 feet off and trust the offense to run from there. The three aces that we have seen from the Cardinals have been balls into seams so far. So we can take a look here. Maybe Moser takes a little bit off of it with the Ducks in rotation four. I look for them to isolate the seam between Bickford and Lancia and see if they can take advantage of that one there. But Lancia looks locked in, a lot of energy, a lot of excitement. Moser fixes that gorgeous head of hair he's got. Big jump serve onto Lancia, into the ceiling, and down for an ace, Jared Moser with an absolute rocket down the line for his first ace of the night. I told you guys, he's got an unbelievable arm and we see it on display right there. Takes the score to 16-19, the Stevens fans on their feet and it looks like we'll take a moment to clean some sweat. These Stevens guys, engineers of all kinds, mechanical, electrical, custodial, great work from Bickford and Lancia there getting that floor cleaned up and the Stevens fans stay engaged and on their feet. They love it. And now the North Central fans are answering with their own clap. A lot of excitement in this gymnasium. Moser, big toss 
off speed, Bickford handles. Folder, nobody home. He buries it, and what a set from Loudon Moran on that ball. Loudon, front row, lefty, gets the block to fully commit, leaves zone five open for Fulner, and Fulner normally scores with four hands in front of him, so if there's only two hands, there's no doubt about what he's gonna do with that ball. Lancia on to Moser, Donovan to the Bick, slapped by Moser, slapped back by Fulner, the solo block for the Florida man. Two straight points for Fulner. We see it again here. Such discipline, sitting on the bick, pressing across technically. And we will take a break in just a moment. The Ducks leading 21-16 in the second set. Up one set to none, looking to move within one set of the national championship. Folks, we'll be right Back here in Owings Mills Gymnasium, Stevenson University, a school with rich volleyball history. The men's side, the women's side, the beach game, indoor, they do it all here. But so far tonight, it has been all ducks. They lead 21 to 16, coming out of Coach X-Line's second timeout for the Cardinals. If I'm Coach X-Line, I talked to Tyler Donovan about taking this ball to the right side. Luke Schmidt's been hot so far, see if he can get an important first ball side out. Moser. Backside to Schmidt. Schmidt finds a seam dug out by Moran. Ho bump set across the net. Sherman's D ball just a bit deep. And while it wasn't a kill, an important side out for the Cardinals as Jeremy Cardenas re enters, as well as Michael Shevs. Shevs, such a big part of last or Friday night's win over Vassar in the semifinal. Started with a 4 0 run for the squad, really took it to Vassar set the tone for what all evening was gonna look like. They'll be looking for a big run from him there. Shevs on a bone, perfect pass. Out to Bickford from Moran, high off the block, dug by Donovan. Shevs set to Williams. Williams scores deep into the corner. And I'll tell you what, Michael Shevs, that set was worthy of a JD Power Associates Award. They call him Chevy and that's for a reason. The guy's got an engine like nobody else. Great set to Williams there. Gives Williams a chance to attack the deep cross. Out of system setting, such an important key at this level. And we see a great example of it there. And over from Ben Williams, a little bit too eager. The North Central outside attackers are so worried about Moran attacking this second ball. They're getting up off their feet. Moran wasn't even loading his arm on that one. He was getting ready to dish to Fulner. If I'm Coach Exxon, I gotta talk to my squad about staying more disciplined. Tell your back row to worry about digging out Moran and have the outside pinch to double and slow down these dynamic Stevens middles. Gator Fulner back to serve. Handled by Moser. Cardenas tips it back to the line. Sherman caught napping on that one. Jeremy Cardenas, so much variety in the route he runs. We see him run a rip route, a really sharp angle gap ball has the block dive in, leaves zone one open for him to throw it back and attack. Schmidt serve it in the net, and we've got a 23-19. I repeat, we've got a 23-19. Stevens, two points away from a 2-0 lead here. And that takes Loud Moran, the senior setter, back to serve for the Ducks. Moran. Big jump serve in the seam, handled well by Moser. Great set from Donovan, pushes it out, high off the hands, kept alive. Sherman sees it over his shoulder, deep angle swing, dug by Moser. Donovan out to Williams, Williams off the block. And Jared Moser, a tremendous center back defender. He gets the pub, he gets the recognition for his offense and for his serving. But Moser keeping that rally alive with a couple huge digs, keeping his team in system. Williams does a better job of seeing the late block attacking that seam. And I love getting an attacker in the rhythm before they go back to serve. So Williams off the kill, had two aces last time he was back. 
Test Bone. Bone passes Moran about 12 off. Sherman high off the block, dug out by Donovan. Nelson uses his platform, pushes it back to Moser. Moser in the block, kept alive by Cardenas. Chased down. Donovan forced to send a free ball. Sherman picks it up. Moran back to Bickford. This one dug out by Williams. Donovan out to Moser. Moser high off the block. And Jared Moser. There is the swing we are looking for. Finding the sharp angle. Testing the block high instead of low. And North Central putting a few together. Great delivery from Donovan. And like I said, great job from Moser. Not bringing that swing down, but keeping it high as we are down to crunch time here in set two. North Central only trailing by two, 21-23, as Coach Beering takes what I believe is his second time out of the set. Taking a look into the box score, the North Central offense, much better production this set, but still a pretty big mark off of what Stevens has done. North Central hitting 188, Stevens up at 500 for this second set, but the service line has been the equalizer for North Central. Four aces, a couple overpasses, and that service pressure will need to stay. A lot of times parents talk about and fans talk about, oh man, it's so close at the end, you've got to give yourselves a chance. But at this level, you can't just serve into serving. Williams has to have the confidence of the best serve in his repertoire, being able to be in bounds, stay aggressive, whether that's with tempo, whether that's attacking the seam. Based on what we know, I think we'll see him attacking this ball to zone five, working either Philip Bone or the seam between Ho and Bone. Force that pass to come across the court. Moran has been really peppering the pins here. Their middles, Fulner and Hoke, have only combined for three or eight attempts so far. I wouldn't be shocked if this is a perfect pass to see them go to Hoke down the middle and see if Hoke can side him out. But we'll have to wait to see what happens. Williams serves. Ho off the net. Moran high to the outside. Sherman airmails that one. And the lead has shrunk to one. 22-23 North Central. And our drill, this drill is called Big Three. You've got to put three points in a row to win the drill. North Central's already a little bit ahead of that. But this is what crunch time volleyball is about making your best plays and still playing comfortably. Stevens looking a little bit tight right now. Williams on the hoe, overpass. Moser handles it. Donovan to Cardenas, dug over by Ho. Nelson handles this one. Donovan outside to Moser. Moser high off the block and we're knotted up at 23. What a run from the Cardinals here. Jared Moser starting to find his offensive rhythm. Fifth kill of the evening. Great ball from Donovan, high off the block, and we've got a substitution here from the Ducks. We see the return of Nathan Lancia. I love Lancia finding his teammates, trying to bring that energy back to the court. And now it's a deuce situation. The first team to go up by two here. North Central fans are on their feet, making a lot of noise. Williams, jump serve, finds the net. And while an error is not what you want there, you got to give kudos to Ben Williams, bringing his team back from the dead. A huge run there, and now it's a side-out game. And both these offenses are capable of side out on the first ball for quite a while. We can see this one hit the 30-point mark. But Stevens will look to intercept the score and the set before that, leading 24-23. Bickford at the line. Float serve, Moser handles. High pass, Donovan. Back out to Moser, one on one. Jared Moser getting back to his business of collecting kills. His sixth of the night. Cardenas, great job arriving, gets the double block committed. One on one, and we see Moser not going for his patented sharp cross, going a little bit deeper, not in this one back up at 24. Cardenas, float serve to Lancia. Moran backside to Sherman. Sherman! What a swing from Kobe Sherman and set from Vlad Moran. I love the mix up in tempo. Normally you see the really high ball, a little bit more pace, creates a seam in the block. Sherman sees it well, takes advantage for his 11th kill on the night, and that sends Colin Nick back to the line, the graduate student from Long Island, New York. 
Eastport South Manor High School. Legendary head coach Bill Krupp. High pass from Williams off the net. Donovan all the way out to Moser. Moser high off the block. Moran keeps it alive. Nick out of system set to Lancia. Lancia off the block. And Stevens closes the set out. What a play from Colin Nick on that ball. He's a serving sub, but he's also the backup setter and just absolutely everything you could ask for from him there. A great serve, gets the Cardinals out of system, a great set on a silver platter to his teammate, and the Ducks take a 2-0 lead. Owings Mills Gymnasium is rocking. Stevens trying to propel their side to victory. North Central trying to encourage their squad that the comeback is possible, and it is. They were down 2-1 in the first round at home against Benedictine, battled back to win it in five. They'll be looking to do the same here. Stevens trying to close out a second straight sweep. We'll be back with set three action from Owings Mills in just a bit. Back to Owings Mills, Maryland, home of Stevens University, also home to our Division Three Men's Volleyball National Championship match. Stevens Ducks closed out set two on an unbelievable Nathan Lancia kill. We see the effort from Lad Moran. Colin Nick, gorgeous back set. Lancia using the block to close that one out. Just such a great example of the depth of this Stevens squad, the energy they play with. We see that from Lancia there, as well as the trust they have in each other and the belief that they were destined for this national title. The student athletes believe it, the coaches believe it, and the fans believe it as well but there's a whole nother group that believes it as well, but they believe it about themselves, and that's North Central College. Coach Kyle Axon has been in this situation before. Like we mentioned, they were down 2-1 on their home floor in the first round of the tournament, battled back against Benedictine for a five-set win, and they'll be looking to extend the match the same way here. Michael Shevs kicks us off with a jump serve. High ball on him, Bickford. 19 off, Moran delivers. Dug out, but not well enough. Percy Bickford is saying he went OT on that one. Great swing after a little bit of a quiet end to that second set from Bickford. We see him back on the score sheet. His eighth kill of the night, hitting over 500 in the match. Bickford, not the flashiest outside, but so efficient, such a heady player, always just making the optimal choice on those attacking opportunities. One of the many reasons he was a second team All-American and one of the primary attackers for this Duck squad. Loud Moran back to serve with the Ducks leading 1-0. Moran on to Moser. Donovan pushes it out. Moser into the block and returned. Hoke and Sherman combining for the big block by the Ducks there. What a great job by Sherman, using his eyes, seeing the approach path from the hitter, reaching back into the court to reject that one, and the Ducks take an early 2-0 lead in this match. Moran, serve, finds the center of the net, a free side out for North Central, and we see Ben Pliskota checking back in. During set two, we saw North Central flip to a 6-2 for a bit, changed a little bit of what their substitution patterns could be, and now we see them returning to what we saw on Friday night in the semifinals. Piscota, such an effective serving sub. This one is a float. Hoke tips over the block, just kept alive by Nelson Bone. Up to the net, Moran back to Hoke, rejected by Cardenas, kept alive. Hoke and Cardenas battle. Out of system ball, just out of control from Bickford. And Jeremy Cardenas with the big block on that one, causing the chaos for the Ducks. Great work. Nelson just gets his hand underneath it. Parker James Nelson, such an outgoing young man. I've had the chance to talk with him in practice just about every day this week and seems like a great teammate on this North Central squad and a heck of a player too. And a second straight block for the Cardinals. Donovan and Cardenas combine. You cannot tip over this block. They're too big, they're too physical. Six foot seven and six foot six. Very, oh, six nine and six foot six, excuse me. Shorten Cardenas a little bit. 
as Pliskota taking this North Central squad on a run. Backside to Bickford, high off the block. Moser keeps it alive. Back out to Moser from Donovan. Roll shot dug out by Moran. Bump set to Sherman. Sherman goes high. And three in a row for the Cardinals. Cardenas and Donovan. The Cardinal block has come to life. And the bench is throwing their own block party there. We are starting to see the service game put Stevens out of system. And we're starting to see the block take advantage of those out of system opportunities. Pliskota gets over top of that one. Moran off again, back to Sherman. Sherman high and hard off the block, dug by Williams. Donovan out to Moser. Moser off the block, dug by Moran. Hoke with the out of system set. Sherman chops to keep it alive, dug by Pliskota. Cardenas power tip, and the Cardinals, Jeremy Cardenas is making his impact heard in this third set. Four straight points for the all-American middle. Really nice job of evaling the block. Against that large block, Donovan was making sure he gives him enough room to work. And the Cardinals are off to a great start. Pliskota's serve finds the net. 3-5, the Ducks trail. Coach X-Line not thrilled about that, but thrilled by Pliskota's contributions overall. And that sends Percy Bickford back to serve and Nathan Lancia back into the match. Bickford floats serve on to Moser. Moser gets it back off the block, dug out by Moran. Bump set to Lancia. Lancia on to Nelson. Nelson digs with hands. Bick from Williams. Williams tried to go with the off speed tip. And just like I said earlier about the North Central block, the same goes for the Stevens block. You can't try and tip over him. Hoke, so big, so long, able to just keep those hands active like pinball flippers and slap it back into the court. The Ducks get their first terminal block of this set. Lead down to one. Bickford, float serve onto Moser. Perfect pass, dump. Moran went for the wedge pancake dig, but they don't serve breakfast after 12 p.m. here in Maryland. No pancakes allowed, and that is a kill for Tyler Donovan. When, when Tyler Donovan's in the front row, if I'm the North Central serve receive, I would love to work our pass a little bit tighter, keep his offense more of an option, maybe get that block to commit, open up one-on-one -on -one opportunities for Cardenas, but great job of, of Donovan keeping his offensive factor. Moser, heavy jump serve, passed well by Ho. Sherman! Oh, man, Sherman's march. I'm not sure if it came through Maryland, but he left some scorched earth on that one. Great communication from him and Moran. Sherman slides in front. They push the set in the court. The block was no obstacle, and Kobe Sherman, his 12th kill of the evening with a thunderous swing right there. Just what a ball off the hand of Kobe Sherman. Colin Nick, such a key part of that end of the set for the Ducks, serves in. Donovan back dump. Nick can't quite get it. And there's two consecutive kills for Tyler Donovan. Without that back row D-ball option from the right side, it's so important that Donovan keeps his offense involved. Really tough to locate that ball so close to the net. Donovan does a great job. Lancia was all over it, just didn't read the back portion of the dump. So that's another kill for Donovan. Sends Cardenas back to the line. Cardenas on to Bickford, high pass. Moran off eight. Sherman can't find the North Central block. Sails that one deep, and now North Central stretches the lead back to three. I think Kobe Sherman on some of these semi-out-of-system balls is working himself a little bit tight. Can't see the block as well as he needs to, and is missing hands trying to go use that block. Cardenas on to Lancia, slides over. Fulner, once again, with the power dip, Connor Fulner. They say the strange and unusual happens in Florida, but there's nothing strange or unusual about that. The Florida man continues to find his offense. His sixth kill of the night, hitting over 500 in this match so far. Sherman, big jump serve. Moser's pass is tight, and Donovan, three straight kills. And folks, that was exactly what I talked about. I wanna see Tyler Donovan keeping that offense involved. 
great tight ball from Jared Moser there. Let your center show his athleticism, show that he's six foot seven. Lancia countered, slid his blocks left, and we counter back with Donovan, dumping it inside. Great vision. 6-9, the Ducks trail. Fans on their feet. Back set to Sherman. Sherman dug out by Moser. Donovan sets out a system. Williams tools the block, and the Cardinals get to double digits, leading 10-6. Head coach Dan Beering not, ups, not happy about that, a little bit upset. Looked like he wanted a double contact from Tyler Donovan on that, but you're never getting that call. That was a pretty nice set from Donovan there, especially how lenient the officials have been this year. Donovan takes the Ducks out of system to serve. Lancia off 10, chops it short center back. Schmidt steps in, pushes across the court, and what a set from Luke Schmidt. I recruited him as a setter. He went to college as a setter. Just recently, he transitioned to playing on the right side, and Schmidt called off Donovan super well. That's a 38-foot push in system. Luke Schmidt pumping up the crowd. He's fired up after that one as North Central has their largest lead of the night. 11-6 here in set three. They're down two sets to none, not letting that stop them. They want to extend their season. We'll be back to you with more national championship action in just a moment. Folks, we're back in Owens Mills, Maryland. Stevenson University hosts for our Division III Men's Volleyball National Championship. Stevens Ducks leading the match, two sets to none, but it has been all North Central so far in this third set. They lead 11-6, have turned the tables in the serve pass game, have turned the tables on offense. Currently hitting 308. Stevens hitting it negative at the moment as Donovan lines up another serve. He goes off speed. Bickford's pass backwards all of system, Lancey off the net, Donovan digs out, Nelson sets Schmidt, it's tight, and the Ducks reject it. Lancia and Fulner combine for another block. That is already the sixth block of the set for this Stevens Ducks squad. They are so disciplined, such good handwork, reaching double digits in their block total for the night. Slurpee checks 7-11, Steven serves. Bad pass from Williams, Moser out of system set. Schmidt collects and swings down the line. Luke Schmidt, I said he was the X Factor last night. Never wrong, only early. Luke Schmidt, absolutely. Great job from Moser. Schmidt showing the comfortability attacking down the line. His seventh kill on the evening. He leads North Central in total kills. He leads them in attack efficiency at the moment. Luke Schmidt has showed up big for Coach Exxon when he's been needed the most. Williams, pass by Ho, back set, Fulner just misses on the tip, and the lead is back up to six. A rare error from Connor Fulner there. He is seeing the block so well. We talk to our student athletes all the time, when you're trying to tip, you don't have to hit the line to score, you just have to make, make a play. And I don't know if he had a, an internship with Sherman Williams, but he certainly wasn't painting that line. Williams! Ace on Ho, his third of the evening. And this duck serve receive is struggling to handle Ben Williams' pressure from the line right now. So aggressive on the toss, such a heavy arm coming through. And they have now doubled up the Ducks. They lead this one 14 to seven. Williams, jump serve on the Ho. Bickford out of system, misses the line, and North Central fans are all over the place. Folks, if you're curious why that ho serve receive is not a double contact, you can double the first contact as long as you're making one fluid motion. And even though it went from his arms to his chin, everything was contained within one motion, so it's seen as a fluid, solid first contact. But the quality of that first contact didn't give Stevens the chance to attack it in transition as the North Central service pressure 
continues to allow them to control this set. They're still hitting up above 250 at 267, have now dragged the Ducks down to negative 176, and that was after they hit 308 in set one and 483 in set two. The Ducks have been the best offense in the NCAA tournament throughout this tournament so far, throughout all three rounds and into this final. But Coach X-Line, whatever adjustments they made between sets two and three, with their blocking scheme, with their serving approach, with their defensive tactics, are starting to take shape. And they have been dominating this third set from the get-go. If you're Stevens, you're such a quality squad, you know that there's plenty of volleyball left to be played. And if you're North Central, you know you have to keep your foot on the pedal. Keep pushing forward. Not only do you want to win this set, but you want to dominate this set to carry some of them and run them into the set four. So it'll be an interesting chess match to see what adjustments we might see from either squad as the scoreboard has Stevens in a bit of a pickle for the first time in this, in this match, in this championship match so far. Ben Williams is lining up another serve. We'll see, sometimes North Central likes to switch to an off-speed out of the timeout. We'll see if they've got a little rope a joke in store. And Williams sends it deep. Coach Buren picks up the coach's point, and that sends Connor Fulner back to the line, but Ben Williams is all smiles. He said, hey, I got Nason a couple other points. I don't think anyone can be upset with me. And Fulner will enter a float serve. Down the line, Moser handles high. Hester, one-on-one. -on -one. Mitchell Hester, his second kill of the night. The first year from Texas. He's a big body. He does a great job of reaching high. Goes just off the outside hand of Hoke. Really nice work from him of not bringing that swing down and using the block. North Central doubles up Stevens again, leading this one 16 to eight. Michael Shevs revs one up. Into the seam, Bone to Moran. Bickford off the block, dug by Shevs. Williams out of system to Moser. Moser goes for the sharp angle, but not on Tyler Hoke. Hoke drops that left hand into the seam so well. Stevens, one of the most disciplined and prepared teams in the country. They know Jared Moser's preferred shot is that sharp angle four to four. And we see the hand drop down from Hoke, taking that away. 9-16, Stevens trails this one. Moran gets him out of system. Donovan off 18. Pushes to Moser. Moser forces it through. Kept alive by Sherman. High set and Sherman. It looked like Sherman had swiped it off the top of the North Central block. But the initial call is out of bounds from Denny Cespedes. We're going to take a look at a replay here. And it's a tough angle, but I think we did see a little bit of a touch here, but Denny and Moran are talking this one over. Denny Cespedes, we mentioned earlier, the Federation International Volleyball Official, FIVB, the Olympic level, but we're gonna stay with the call we had. North Central leading 17-9. Maybe he thinks Sherman's hand stayed on the ball after the touch, something you often see with super slow motion replay. That one was touched, but touched right back in the court. The fourth time this set, Donovan and Cardenas have combined for the block. They have done a great job of adjusting to that inside route as we start to see some substitutions for the Ducks. Kobe Sherman exit. Alex Franca enters. The senior from Lafayette, California. Percy Bickford also exits. And we see the return of Carver Wyrick the junior from San Marino, California. This depth, this depth of the Ducks has been a strength of theirs all year long. We'll see if they can use it at the end of the set. Pliskoda goes right at the fresh duck knee and says, I'll have an extra order, crispy. And he gets the ace, 19 to nine. It is all Cardinals here. We take another look, Pliskoda, so hard to prepare for from the service line. He's got that hybrid serve. He hits some floats, he hits some top spins. And we see him switch it up to the float there. Ho handles it well. Hoke elevates, Cardenas blocked, covered over. Cardenas grabs it, we're playing volleyball still. Nelson out of system, Donovan goes. And we realize now, 
back row effort from Moran. He cannot engage with a ball that's on the opposite side of the net. So him and Cardenas both went up. The officials wanted to take a moment to confirm whether Moran was in the front row or back row. That's why the call was late and Coach X9 was letting them know that it should come soon. Plaskota gets the overpass. Cardenas dug out by Ho, but out of bounds. And Jeremy Cardenas has been the driving force along with the service pressure. North Central, a 12 point lead. The largest of this match for either side in this third set. And the Cardinals faithful are letting the Ducks hear it. Another serve, Ho, 11 off for Moran. Franca off the block, and the Ducks break through the double digits. They are trailing 10-21. Wyrick heading back to serve, Lancia re-entering the match. They're gonna want to try to grab some momentum here. Earlier we saw Wyrick hit a float serve just a bit deep. We'll see if he changes up his approach from the line with his second attempt. Wyrick's float, trying to go over top of Moser just too much and that sends Jared Moser back to serve. And uh, folks, I'm sorry I didn't report this earlier, but we also had a, a tactical switch from this North Central squad. Jared Moser, typically the OH1 for North Central, lined up as the OH2 throughout this set, switching up the matchups for him and Ben Williams and clearly that's worked out well for this Cardinal squad. Great serve in the seam. Lancia does a nice job to keep it alive. Moran with the bump set. Lancia collects, dug by Nelson. Williams in transition over the block, dug by Wyrick. Franca pursues it, brings it back. Moran, hard angle free ball, picked up by Nelson. Donovan, dumb, kept alive on the pancake. Sent over by Hoke. Nelson, free ball pass off the net. Donovan pushes it to the outside. Into the block, covered by Cardenas. Donovan calls off Nelson. Williams in the block again, covered by Donovan. Moser with the out of system set. Williams throws it through, off the block, it's kept alive. Ho sends it over. Now Donovan looks, he's dishes to Cardenas, blocked by Hoke. Kept alive by Lancia. Moran backside to Franca. Franca through the block. We have a touch. And folks, the rally of the tournament, without a doubt, just what tremendous effort from both sides. All the fans on their feet giving applause for that one. We had covers, we had blocks, we had plays out of the net. We had everything you could ever want throughout that rally. Finally ended by the Alex Franca kill going off that hand of Cardenas there. Holy cow, I'm out of breath after that one. But that brings Colin Nick back to serve. Nick's float serve finds Nelson. Attacked, blocked, covered. Nelson out of system to Williams. Into the Stevens block. Franca and Fulner. F, F on that one. Pay your respects. What a block from the senior-senior combo there. Fulner, great job pressing that left hand in. It's a good attack from Williams, just needs to attack that seam a little bit higher. Lead down to 10. Float serve from Nick goes just deep. North Central, two points away from closing out the second set as we have entering the match here. Gabrielle Aguado rocking the black headband and the fans are on their feet. He must be a campus favorite back at North Central. The Adidas upside down headband looking like a mid 2000s NBA player with that swag. Aguado, jump serve, catches the tape, pass by Wyrick. Moran to Fulner, Fulner high off the block and Connor Fulner showing why he was an All-American last year. Been battling through injuries all year. Battling an injury earlier this set. Nothing looks injured there. Sees the space between Mitchell's hands and the field goal is good. Swinging through that block. Franca, high jump serve. And that's a foot fault. There are about 100 North Central fans two feet away from me, and if the officials didn't have that foot fault, the fans were gonna let him know too. Steven's so aggressive from the line, and just that big toe. If Franca was a size 14 instead of 15, we might be looking at an ace there. Reminiscent of Kevin Durant against the Bucks a few years back. Donovan, set point for North Central, big serve. Lancia passes Moran off the court. Franca from the back row, finds the deep corner. Alex Franca with the kill, and what a luxury. 
for Coach Buring's squad to have an arm like Alex Franca that he can bring off the bench. The senior from Lafayette stepping up in a big way, trying to battle back for Stevens and grab any momentum they can, heading into an inevitable fourth set. Williams handles it high, out to Schmidt. Schmidt tried to turn that one down the line. Moran and Fulner were having none of it. And we have seen some of the best blocks of the year in this fourth set for both sides. Fulner getting in on another one there. Lancia, another float serve. Nelson handles it well. Hester to the corner. Great swing from Machester. And a little bit of the unsung hero of this squad, Libero, Parker James Nelson. Such a great set for the Cardinals. Keeping them in system, covering a lot of court, keeping a lot of balls alive. 25-15 win for North Central in that third set. That'll take us to our first fourth set in Owings Mills. And what better time to have that than the national championship match. The Titans of the Midwest taking on the engineers of the Northeast in just one of the best matchups you can imagine here at Stevens University. Folks, we'll be back with set four action in just a bit. Don't go anywhere. Folks, welcome back to Stevens University in Owings Mills, Maryland, home of the Division III Men's Volleyball National Championship. I'm Rob Winger, bringing you all the action here as North Central dominates set three, still trails this match one to two, and throughout the gym, we're hearing one message, pump it up, pump it up, pump it up, don't you know, pump it up. And I'm not sure this gym can handle any more energy as we come back. We saw the North Central Cardinals storm back. Not the best play from them in sets one and two, but some of their best volleyball in set three, holding this unbelievable Stevens offense to a negative attack percentage. We saw it from them in the service line, we saw it from them on the block, and it really made a difference. Coach Buring gave some of his top hitters a rest at the end of that set. We'll see if it makes a difference. And we still see the flip of Jared Moser and Ben Williams. Moser playing 02, Williams playing 01. Oh, and Kobe Sherman with a bit of a gaff there. Serve from Ladd Moran, caused the overpass. Sherman a little jacked up to put that one away. Goes with the fist and just sends it a bit too deep. I'd be lying if I say I haven't done that myself, but uh, man, Sherman will want that one back and North Central will take that every time if they can get it. Pliskota. Hybrid on the hoe. Back ball to Bickford off the block. Kept alive. Williams chases it down, but not a good enough touch there. Great effort from the Cardinals on that one. Stevens knots it up at one, and Percy Bickford, last two swings were errors. Gets back on the kill board. His ninth of the match, looking to be the second player to enter double digits for this Duck squad. Coach X line, cleaning up a little bit of sweat off the floor he's an all-american voter he's a rack member he's an incredible head coach and not even above cleaning the floor he does it all bickford float down the line moser handles well moser gets it back from donovan he airmails that one just wide and now stevens takes the lead a couple uncharacteristic errors from the all-american primary hitters in moser and uh, Sherman to start this match. Coach X-Line makes an adjustment to serve, receive. They bring up Pliskota to pass, push Moser out of receive, try to get him an earlier, cleaner transition if the Ducks are gonna target him in receive. Nelson handles this one. Cardenas with the step route. Got Hope to bite. Left a seam between him and Bone. And there's that route versatility from Jeremy Cardenas. 
He steps like he's running the gap. He comes in, and he actually doesn't have a seam. Bone had slid as well, so he goes outside of the outside blocker's hand there. Just great approach path. Perfect delivery from Donovan on that one. Moser. Off-speed jump serve. Pass by Bone. Out to the pin. Bone! High into the corner. That is Nate Bowman's corner, rented by Philip Bone there. And Bone seeing his first front row action tonight. He's normally out there for his ball control. We see that on display, but he's a heck of an athlete as well. The MAC Rookie of the Year, Bone, elevates so well. He is such a competitor. You see that intensity all over. He's got a football background, and you can tell with that. And folks, we got a little bit of a stoppage here. We have a couple of lights flickering in the gym. So if your broadcast at home looks a little bit darker, no need to adjust your TV. And what a great shot of the black ceiling here at Stevens University. As a former setter and an alumnus of the university, that black ceiling provides such a great contrast for your setters. You never get the ball lost up there. Really easy to track. We saw Coach X-Line squad actually practice tracking balls out of the ceiling earlier this year. And uh, maybe we got a little bit of Kanye going, all the lights, maybe some dancing in the dark. If you've got some thematic music at home, don't be afraid to turn on during our short break here. Young Park waiting for word from our great hosts here at Stevens University on, uh, on what we're going to do. It looks like Stevens is going to meditate, maybe take a little bit of a nap with this mood lighting. North Central getting some, both lineups getting words of encouragement from their coaching staff. And folks, I'll give you a little bit of history. It was 2016. Salisbury and Stevenson men's lacrosse were playing. There was an accident on the Bay Bridge, and we saw Salisbury delayed in their arrival to the match. We started about 9 p.m. The outdoor lights were scheduled to go off at 10 when the second half was starting. And now we've got the thematic views and pumped through the gyms. I think this is the weekend. Um, so just really nice job by the host of trying to deal with this situation. We have Associate Athletic Director Mike Gornhurst talking over with Young Park about what the solution here will be for these two teams. Maybe, uh, maybe a trip to Home Depot on the way as we have some, uh, some more thematic music coming through. Both head coaches now meeting with Young Park and Danny Cespedes as well as the Stevenson staff to figure out where we're gonna go from here. It seems like we might be playing with some adjusted lighting. And I'm not sure who that is from the Stevens bench, but that is an impressive handstand. And we have a handstand race going on here. We have a walking handstand from North Central. Oh my gosh, folks. If you are not at your seat, you better get back here. This is just riveting stuff. North Central has made it almost all the way across the court. Stevens goes down. North Central is still on the move. He's almost all the way there. He's at the goal line. He goes down. What an effort, and I am trying to catch his number there. 24, Carson Eggert, take a bow. Just unbelievable athleticism. We haven't seen Carson on the floor yet, but, man, after a 45-foot handstand walk, Maybe we need to see more of them. And now we have another little battle of the benches going. We've got a handstand looks at Carver Wyrick there. <laughs> Folks, I just got a report from Associate Athletic Director Mike Gornhurst. This is not a gymnasium failure. There was a fuse that went off campus wide. This is a different set of lights. So we see a couple of them go out. We have a couple of them coming back on and we're gonna see what we can do about it. The gym is still well lit enough to compete without question. It's just a matter of the change in the lighting from where the championship match had started at. So we'll discuss what the plan of action is. And it seems like both teams are gonna line it up and uh, there's still a lot of excitement excitement in the gym, despite the lights going off. Just a little bit of a, a break into our action here. But I want to thank both benches for providing us with great entertainment throughout the break. We had dancing, we had handstands, 
we had a lot of animated behavior, which is exactly what you would expect from the world of men's volleyball. And it looks like North Central is working on turning a double play, maybe. I know their baseball squad had won five straight CCIW championships, so these guys are probably a little bit busy come baseball season because of volleyball, but if, uh, if their coaching staff is looking for some extra experience, I mean, Michael Shev's right there showing off that he can feel the fly ball or two, even one that might come off the wall. Young Park and head coach Kyle Exline of North Central talking over the situation. Stevenson staff confirming how we will handle this moving forward. Tyler Donovan talking with up official Danny Cespedes. We just love communication here at the Division Three level, and we are seeing no shortage of it through this break. Stevenson University founded in 1947. They have had men's volleyball since 2003, NCAA Final Four in 2016, NCAA Quarterfinal in 2018, and we are right back to action. Colin Nick at the line. Nick serves it up over the head, and the break is a little bit of a freeze for Nick. Maybe got a little bit too cold. That knots us back up at three points apiece here in this fourth set. Stevens leading the match two to one, and Jeremy Cardenas at the line. Cardenas float serves Bone, slaps it to Moran. Throw from Fulner, Donovan with the pineapple dump, dug out by Moran. Sherman, high, finds the tape, dug by Pliskota. Donovan to Hester, he tips, dug out by Bickford. Out of system set, on a platter for Donovan from Fulner, puts it away, and North Central back in front. Tyler Donovan getting his offense going. Fifth kill of the night, hitting over 400 here, and at six foot seven, I love seeing a setter who is not afraid to attack the volleyball. Cardenas, float serve, Bickford handles this one. He goes to Fulner, Fulner! Takes a big swing on that one, just like a gator closing its jaws on the prey. That is his eighth kill of the night. Connor Fulner and Loudon so much chemistry, such great spacing. I think Fulner's neck is up above the net. He is such an athlete, such great elevation, and he has been a key cog to this Stevens offense in the championship match tonight. Sherman, jump serve, catches the tape, Hester handles. Donovan off eight, pushes Williams. There's the block over top, and now Stevens goes up 5-4. Both these squads trading side outs, trading transition points early on. Seeing the offense find its rhythm again coming out of the light stoppage that we had. Sherman back to serve. Nelson handles Donovan to the Bick. Moser, he sends that one too deep out of bounds. They're trying to run that out of system Bick with such tempo. Moser, such a good athlete, needs to lead. It needs to be led by Donovan just a bit more on that set. Stevens putting together three straight points. I think a two point lead is the largest one of this set so far. Sherman lining up his third straight serve. Sherman onto Moser. Donovan out to Williams, block covered, Donovan to Hester, and Hester goes out of bounds. Three straight errors from the North Central attack there, and I love the idea, idea from Tyler Donovan trying to get the middle involved in transition, but the spacing just wasn't quite there. Donovan about four off, Hester worked himself a little bit too tight, tried to reach back, and just took his swing a little deep on that ball. Sherman's jump serve into the net, a free side out for the Cardinals, and they'll take it. Sends Donovan back to serve. Brings Luke Schmidt back into the match for the Cardinals as they now trail five to seven here in this fourth set. Arms out in the tee for their guy, Tyler. The first year starter and first team All-American for the Cardinals. Moran back to Sherman, rejected but kept alive. Moran. Bump set on the net, bone, oh, and they make everything bigger in Texas, including that block from Mitchell Hester, the Frisco native, absolutely took all the meat off that bone on that block, sending it back, and he is fired up. The lead shrinks to one. 
Bones pass. Moran attacks. Dug out by Donovan. Nelson with the jump set. Schmidt elevates. And that blows up Sherman. And now we're knotted up again. A three-point run from the cards. Gets us at lucky sevens on both sides. If you want a soda, grab a starry. Not Sierra missed. Or maybe a seven up. Because that's where our scoreboard is locked. Donovan tried to go with the rope of dope. That was how they ended the semifinal against Vassar, the off-speed serve. That one finds the net and puts the Ducks back on top, leading eight to seven. Mm -hmm. Philip Bone back at the line. Bone delivers into the seam. Nelson handles it well. Pushed all the way across to Schmidt. Schmidt with the power tip down the line just in front of Sherman's feet. Luke Schmidt continuing to lead the way for this Cardinal offense. Ninth kill on the evening, hitting 429. Great efficient work for the newly minted opposite from Indiana. Williams jump serve into the platform of Ho. Moran out to Bickford. Deep cross swing, sent into the stands by the North Central defenders. And that's a kill for Percy Bickford. But Connor Fulner's spacing there is what took away that opportunity. Fulner running a route behind the setter, holds that North Central middle, creates a seam for Bickford to attack. And Fulner, after that great decoy, heads back to the line. An SEC chant from the fans as the Gator Chomp comes out from the Stevens fans, Bone sticks a pick and Fulner, not the touch he was looking for on that one. Big kill from Ben Williams on the pick. The absolute breakout star of the tournament for this Cardinal squad. Great precision set from Donovan there. Running that back tempo from the back row behind his head and Fulner, if he could get all his touches back from the night, I think he would probably want that one the most. Shavs jump serve, handled by Bickford. Hoke up over the top and into the corner. Tyler Hoke, his first kill on the evening. He's been making contributions in the blocking side of things. Leading the Ducks with five blocks, but here we see him get the offense going. Maximizing that reach, going over top of the block and into the deep corner. Over top is a favorite place of our Mechanicsburg alumni to hit and that's where Tyler Hoke hails from Mechanicsburg High School. Rich history of volleyball out of that place. Donovan backside to Schmidt. Block finds the line. Percy Bickford with the solo block stretches the Stevens lead back to two. The first answer that the Ducks have had for Luke Schmidt in quite a while. Great eye work from Bickford there. Seeing the set, dying in, reaching back in, and that one found just the outermost portion of that line. Moran's jump serve goes just deep, cuts the lead in half for North Central as we see Ben Pliskota return for Coach x Line squad. Pliskota had one of the largest runs of that third set for the Cardinals from the service line. He hits a hybrid ball, chooses whether he's gonna go top or float at the last moment, makes it so Difficult to prepare. He goes float, perfect pass from Bickford. Hoke slaps it. Williams touch just out of control and into the stands. And now we're starting to settle in. The Stevens bench loves that one. We see them rocking the Tyler hokey pokey after that kill. And that contact was almost a bit of a poke, just scraping it onto the center back, but creates such a high contact point with that reach. Too tough for Ben Williams to handle. Bickford at the line. Float serve on to Williams. Donovan out to Moser. Moser down the line to Moran. Bump set to Sherman. Dug out by Pliskota. Out of system set. Moser takes a full rip off the block. Jared Moser. My colleague Landon Shorts talked about it earlier. If you're that go-to outside, you've got to continue to play confidently. And even though he's about 10 off, we see him collect his feet to the ball, reach high and use that block as an opportunity to score. 
Seventh kill on the night for Jared Moser. He's back at the line now. Moser with a rocket on the bone. Moran back to bone, off the block, and Philip Bone, the ultimate competitor. I swear that guy could have a second career as a WWE wrestler if he wanted to. So much intensity. Great job seeing the block. Goes off the outside hand of Donovan there as we're trading first ball side out for first ball side out. Bone now exits, and this is absolutely a blocking substitution. Lancia done such a good job combining with his middles to slow down this north central middle attack. I think that's why we see him re-enter against Cardenas here. Cardenas sees the substitution, evaluates, takes the swing to zone one. Great work from Cardenas, knowing the personnel that's on the floor. We see him come around, open his body, cut the ball back to zone one. Moran can't quite handle the dig. That sends Cardenas back to the line. Trailing by one. Cardenas float serve. Finds the line up over Ho. That's an ace and this match is knotted up at 13 apiece. We are hitting all the lucky ties in this set. We had 7-7, we've got 13-13. I think those balance out. And Cardenas will now look to get the squad, get his squad the lead here. Bickford handles well. Fulner, the answer for the Ducks. Connor Fulner leaving his imprint on this match. Eighth kill tonight. We see him elevate, keep that spacing. Sneaks it just underneath the block of Hester. That takes him to up over 500 on the evening with kill number eight. Sherman back to serve. His serve finds the center of the net. They're locked up at 14. And one of these teams is gonna take a one point lead into our impending media timeout as Tyler Donovan heads back to serve. And Luke Schmidt re-enters the match. Donovan on the hoe. Moran out to Lancia. The block goes just wide. Lancia with another kill. 15-14. Media timeout here. Close as it can be in set four. The Ducks lead the match 2-1. to one. They lead the set 15-14. One set away from national championship. Coach X-Line squad looking to extend their season. Folks, we'll be back to you in just a bit after this short break. Folks, welcome back. Hopefully you didn't go anywhere. The fans are on their feet. I'm sure you're on your feet at home. We have got an instant classic here in set four. Stevens leading the match 2-1. Leading the set 15-14. I'm Rob Winger bringing you all the action as the Ducks are inching closer to a national title and North Central looking to force the fifth and deciding set. Nathan Lancia back at the line. Float serve catches the tape, Williams handles it. Outside to Schmidt, Schmidt turns it down the line. Cross chop, set from Bickford, kept alive. Donovan, Bick to Moser, grabbed by Fulner. Overpass from Hester, Fulner collects it back. Bickford, sharp cross dug by Schmidt, but a net violation on Ben Williams there. And a huge transition point for the Ducks, keyed by the blocking work of Connor Fulner and the defensive scrappiness of that squad. Lancia back to serve. Ducks now leading by two. Biggest lead we've had in a while. Lancia onto Williams, past high. Donovan 
Out to Schmidt again, high off the block. Sherman tries to slap it back into the court. Can't quite corral it, even with the size of his hands. Looking like a rock'em sock'em robot trying to make that dig. But Schmidt swing, too much pace. Turns it down the line, off the block. And Luke Schmidt, the first Cardinal to reach double digit kills. 10 kills, hitting 350. Ben Williams, the big serve, finds the net. And that's not what you want to see if you're a Cardinal fan. Williams has been so good from the service line all night. You can't blame him for that miss, but you certainly want to see him take your squad on a little bit of a run there. That sends Connor Fulner back. Fulner serves in. Moser handles. He gets it back. He goes high off the block. What a set and swing from the Cardinal duo of Donovan and Moser there. They have combined so many times this year. Great job from Donovan. We see him drop lower, but still locate his hands high. Push that ball out with perfect tempo and location. The number one reason he was an All-American this year was his ability to put his hitters on a platter. Chev Sir finds the net. Back-to-back -back errors for the Cardinals, and I think they're getting a little bit too conservative. We've seen Chevs open up on that serve all weekend long, and it just looked like he slowed his arm down through that zone. Dan Buren telling his squad to take a breath, take a moment. Breathing such a big part of what they do, so intentional about playing with that poise that we see from them so often. Moran serve kept alive, and what a play by Ben Williams. Laying out full extension, taking Donovan to the net. Cardenas throwing it down. Let's see that again. Adjust to the ball of the tape. Full extension. Exactly what you teach. Cardenas selling Hoke on the hard angle before throwing it back to zone one. Great work from that Cardinal trio on that ball. The birds of a feather fly together, and the Cardinals are banding together as they try to keep their season alive. Pliskoda back at the line. He'll look to get the ball back in play for this Cardinal squad. He enters a float serve. Bickford with his forearms. Goes backside. Off the block. Kept alive. Williams with the dig. Donovan dump. Picked up by Moran. Ho with the out of system set. Bickford. He chops it too wide. And we are knotted up at 18. The Cardinals giving the Ducks a little bit of a taste of their own medicine forcing them to play in transition the cardinal flag is waving the fans are on their feet the bench is engaged Pliskoda enters another one ho 14 off moran goes tight sherman swiped kept alive moran gets his hands back on it back to sherman and the big triple block from the cardinals moser donovan and cardenas the all-american front line sending that one back to the duck side we see it again here huge triple timeout from the ducks they trail 19 18 and the cardinals faithful are making a lot of noise here in owings mills gymnasium as we have i mentioned it once already i'll mention it again an instant classic looking at some north central alumni there i think i see jacob zemba one of the first members of that North Central squad coming out from Pittsburgh to support his Cardinal family. And we now see some of those Cardinal families getting into it. The Ducks bench trying to regroup, trying to regather. We've seen the offensive efficiency dip a little bit recently here. They're down at 273. And that is a function of the North Central serving. Putting the Ducks out of system, forcing them to play in transition where they're normally so comfortable, but against a squad. The quality of North Central with the preparation they've got, with the discipline we've seen, nothing's coming easy. And North Central wants to extend their season by at least another set and give themselves a chance to battle for a national championship in that fifth and deciding set. You cannot ask for better volleyball than what you've seen here tonight as both squads retake the floor. ABCA East Region Coach of the Year, Dan Deering looks on. Libero, Parker James Nelson fixing his hair before they get back out there. Want to make sure every strand's in place as Ben Pliskoda heads back to the line. 
to enter a serve. Wiscota catches Ho high, but a perfect pass. They go to Hoke. Hoke dug by Nelson, chased in the stands. Ben Williams can't quite get there. And now we're knotted up at 19. We have a chance to go through each rotation again. Great job of Moran locating Hoke. His fourth kill on the evening. Starting to see his offense here in the fourth set. Percy Bickford back at the line. Lancia re-enters for his blocking and replacing Philip Bone. Bickford, float serve, Moser, high, handles well. Cardenas in the block, dug out, out to Moser. Moser in the block, covered again. Back out to Moser, another block covered by Donovan. Cardenas takes it back to Moser, chopped down the line, dug by Moran. Lancia options on two, but sends it just long. And North Central grinds out another point. They take the one point advantage. Five away from going to set five. Jared Moser, the man, the myth, the cannon, back at the line. Every hair in place for Moser. Big toss. Moser goes wide. And folks, this is perfect vision. 2020. We're locked up the absolute crunchest of times for these two teams as Colin Nick re-enters the match to put in a serve and play some defense for the Ducks. Nick at the line. North Central doing everything they can to distract him from the bench. Float serve finds Moser. Cardenas high off the block. Moran digs it out. Nick out of system set to Sherman. Sherman off the block. And folks, we see it again. The depth of the Ducks. Colin Nick, serving sub and backup setter, coming in, making a great set, putting Sherman right where he needs to be. Sherman uses the block. First time I've called his name in a bit, as Stevens takes the one point advantage. 21-20, looking to clinch their second national championship in school history. First since 2015. North Central in their first national championship match. Looking to extend this match to a fifth set. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back to you with a sh after a short break from Stevens University here in Owens Mills. Folks, we're back here in Owings Mills, as close as it can be. The Ducks leading 21-20. The Cardinals just trailing. Everybody in this arena is on their feet, getting ready to see how this one's gonna close out. Colin Nick been such an integral part of these late match moments so far, and we see a little bit of a shift from Coach Exxon. Ben Williams pushed up and received. Pliskota handles. Cardenas high off the block, dug by Sherman. Moran back to Sherman. Sherman collects high off the block and out of bounds. Two straight for Kobe Sherman. Three straight for the Ducks. They are three points away from clinching a national title as Kobe Sherman is carrying them down the stretch. Nick lining up another serve. On to Nelson, handled well. Donovan back big to Moser. And what a run from the Cardinals there. Folks, that is so hard to block. Cardenas coming around the front side, pulls the block of Nathan Lancia. Moser swinging out to the back, still running with tempo. You just can't dedicate all your blockers. Great work from All-American center Tyler Donovan delivering that ball on a platter as the lead is back down to one. Cardenas on to Lancia, back to Sherman. Sherman into the block, covered by Bickford. Top, tipped over by Fulner, out of system. Donovan pushes, a block covered by Hester, kept alive. Donovan forces to send it over. Ho on the free ball. Back to Sherman, inside route, block! And what a block from Williams and Hester, combining to reject Sherman. We are knotted up here late in the fourth set, 22 all. Three points to a national title for both these squads. Great 
job by Mitch Hester, closing that block and pressing across, nodding this match up at 22 all. Lancey with the pass, backside to Sherman again. This time Sherman finds the seam. 23-22 as Sherman heads back to serve. He leads the match, 16 kills, coming off that active arm, just beating the block with that inside route. And now he looks to give Stevens match point from the service line. Sherman on to Moser, bump set to Williams. Williams, sharp cross goes just wide. The Ducks now lead by two and have national championship point as Kobe Sherman heads back to serve and Coach X-Line taking a timeout to talk it over with his squad. Folks, don't go anywhere. We're bringing the action to you right here, and we'll talk a little bit about what this box score looks like in this fourth set. The Duck offense hitting 267. The Cardinal offense held to 126, but we've seen Jared Moser get going. We've seen Ben Williams going a little bit. The Duck faithful are looking to close this one out right away. If I am correct, Coach x Line squad is in rotation three or two here with Hester and Williams in the front row, Moser in the back row. I would think we will see Jared Moser on some sort of big action if this ball is in system. He's put the last few away. He's seen the block really well from behind that attack line. If I am head coach Dan Buren, I am talking to Kobe Sherman about finding Jared Moser with this serve, trying to take him out as an attacking option if possible. And I'm talking to my block about, hey, on a tight pass, make sure we are committing with Donovan because we want to make sure we're not giving him a free side out on this ball. Luke Schmidt and Kyle Exline talking over some tactics. The Stevens faithful clapping their, clapping their hands on their feet. And we are back, both squads on the court. First championship point for the Ducks. Sherman at the line. Jump serve from Sherman. Finds Moser. They go to the Bick. Off the hands, kept alive. Bickford in transition. Miranda Folger. Folger with the power tip. And Stevens Institute of Technology is your national champion for the first time since 2015. You see the entire Duck squad just rejoice in jubilation. And the North Central Cardinals, nothing to hang their heads about. An appearance in the national championship for the first time in school history. Such a special season for both these squads. The depth of the Ducks just a little bit too much to handle. Bringing home their second national championship in program history under third year coach Dan Beering. The turnaround of the culture from this Duck squad is so apparent. The buy-in, we see the tears of joy from so many of these seniors. 25 months ago, their season ended here at Stevens University in the conference semifinals. Came up short in the national semifinals last year. And now you see them celebrating a second national championship just what a season from both squads ending in the national championship for the Ducks. But nothing to hang your head about if you're a Cardinal fan or a Cardinal student athlete. Just an absolute battle to the bitter end from Coach x and that squad. Such a special season. CCIW champions, NCAA finalists, runner-ups to the national championship. No reason to hang their heads, but much like they're swimming, the Ducks are on top today. Just an absolute display of peak athleticism from both squads. You see the Ducks celebrating, fans and student athletes alike. Folks, thanks for tuning in all weekend long. Two semifinals, a national championship match for the ages, and just the best that Division Three men's volleyball has to offer ending with a Stevens Duck National Championship. I've been Rob Winger. Enjoy your Sunday afternoon.
Thank <laughs> you. 